but I can see you have a specific distance that you observe mm -hmm. from one, uh, it's called what? This, the Falls. feeders? Uh -huh. The feeders and the yes. drinkers, yes. The feeders and the drinkers. Uh -huh. Why is so and what is the distance? Okay, as you can see, this, uh, this kind of feeder, we have uh, uh, specific feeders mm -hmm. for the poultry. But this one I've just complimented. Uh, this is just a, a gutter. Yeah. But I realize that this one works better than the other feeder. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so this. This is the amvua. But it works better than uh, the other feeders. Why? Uh, it uh, it contains uh, it can uh, the spillage is minimal. Oh. The spill, uh, compared to the other feeders, you realize uh -huh. that the, spi the spillage of the other feeders is uh, quite high, uh -huh. but this one is minimal. Uh -huh. So that's the main reason why I decided to put this one. Is there a reason why there's one long one at the middle of the chicken house? Uh, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, we have just put it that way so that they can get sufficient space. Yeah. If you can see this side, we have another one. Mm -hmm. uh, and also we have water in between. We have put water in between mm -hmm. uh, this side and this row. You've mentioned that your feed, you also add additional supplements. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the water. Mm -hmm. Is there anything like aloe vera, like other farmers uh, usually add? You add? No, 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 not really. Uh, you see the issue of al al uh, aloe vera? Yes. Uh, people do mistake it. Why? Because uh, I went somewhere, mm -hmm. was doing some research on that, huh? and I realized that even aloe vera, some of them are very poisonous. I love her, it's not for chicken. <laughs> if the chick is sick, mm. you can see the vet and you'll be given the right uh, medication. Yes. Speaking of veterinaries, mm. what diseases mostly affect this chicken? Um, they are prone to diseases like uh, Newcastle, mm -hmm. we have coccidiasis, uh, we have fallpox, uh, we have fall typhoid. Mm. Uh, but that one comes if you don't vaccinate them. If you vaccinate them, then you are good to go. Failure to do vaccination, you realize that most of your chicks are dying because of those diseases. Take us through the vaccination. How do you start? At what age do you start? What do you use? So from day one, we have a vaccine called Merek that are, uh, vac they get vaccination of Merek. After 10 days, you give them uh, IB plus some Guboro. After 18 days, you give them Guboro dose too. Mm -hmm. After 24 uh, days, you give them Newcastle. After one month, uh, one month and a half, you give them uh, fallpox. After two months, you give them uh, uh, fall typhoid. Then uh, after three months or uh, 19, 19 weeks, you do uh, another Newcastle, then uh, you do uh, the warming. Oh, yeah, even the warming? Yes. Which drugs specifically? Oh, we have uh, the warmer for poultry. Yeah. Yes. Oh, mm. now there, there are farmers who usually say that my chicken are organically mm -hmm. breed. Mm -hmm. yani everything is organic mm -hmm. from uh, the food they mm -hmm. eat mm -hmm. to the kind of water and even up to the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Does a farmer who does organic chicken farming, is he required, is he or she required to go through all those vaccines? Because those don't sound organic. They're not. And uh, mm. I, I don't think if we have uh, sufficient organic vaccine, uh, sufficient organic food, mm -hmm. I don't think so. You'll realize, because like this feed, uh, yeah. I've told you that it requires even some additives, minerals. So those are not organic. So for you, like, if you are in business, for yeah. you to uh, get good money, mm -hmm. then you have to have all these ingredients. And most of them are not organic. So you cannot go organic way. It's quite hard, yes. <laughs> That's an out to them. Mm. But of course, they can get this advice from the veterinary. Exactly. Yes, mm. as they visit the uh, they will be uh, Yeah, mm -hmm. they'll be guided by vet very well. Mm. Yes. Those diseases that you had mentioned, what are the signs and symptoms? Now, like uh, for example, as for example, coccidiosis, you realize that, that most of uh, actually it attacks chicks, yeah. which are two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. You realize that most of them uh, uh, they are diarrhea mm -hmm. because it caused by uh, dirt, water, and even feeds. Mm -hmm. 
we have a uh, fall pox whereby you realize that uh, you'll see some uh, uh, I don't know how they are called but you see uh, along their faces you see uh, eyelids you see that uh, it has been attacked uh, by some uh, oh, around yes, here exactly so that is uh, fall pox mm -hmm. we have uh, fall typhoid which actually is caused also by uh, taking water which are not uh, uh, good mm -hmm. and also feeds which are not good. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, infectious uh, coriza, uh, poor ventilation and the same as uh, IB, if you have uh, poor ventilation that one will also uh, come on your way. Mm. Yes. Which disease is this one that attacks the feet? Uh, that is, uh, uh, that is uh, Merrick. Where yeah. you see that uh, the feet are, uh, they, they don't, they, they, they don't walk. Eh? Oh. Th that is caused uh, by Merrick disease. That is called Merrick disease. What really causes? What really causes that? Because I mean, if you said the soda is really good for mm. their feet, mm -hmm. then what can make them go sick, get sick? Okay, uh, as I said, uh, that uh, if you don't uh, vaccinate your chicks, like yeah. uh, Merrick, if you don't do it at day one you'll see that that uh, disease attacked it when, when it is around three months yeah. you realize that they become lame they don't walk uh, failure to do that vaccination mm. so it is prudent you vaccinate your chick i want us to go a little bit back on the feet there are mm -hmm. some uh, farmers who add skuma wiki mm -hmm. or greens to mm -hmm. the